Hello and welcome to the next episode of my C Sharp Basics tutorial series using Godot. In the last episode, we learned what classes are, and in this episode, we will learn how inheritance works. Inheritance is one way to get even more out of your classes. So let's create a class, I don't know, vehicle and how that works learned in the last episode. And now we have to get some things that every vehicle has. I think every vehicle has a power that could be described in horsepower. And I think every vehicle also has a price. Now, it's instantiated. So and what can every vehicle do? Well, you can ride it so so far there's nothing new but we can now go ahead and create a new class called car and car is a vehicle now visual uh, vs code complains this is because vehicle has a constructor that we have not defined in here so let's simply generate this construct and in this case we use this syntax we create our constructor and say well in the first step it's going to call the constructor from our base class but the base class in this case is a vehicle so now we can get into our game and say vehicle I know, bmw equals new r and in here we have to insert our horsepower it says 300 horsepower and it has a price of 60,000 euros. So we have now crea created our vehicle BMW as a new car. We could of course also say car, Mercedes car, and it has 250 horsepower with cost 90,000 euros. We can also create a new vehicle, let's say plane, and a plane is also a vehicle. And here we do the same as we did with the car. And now we can go into game and say vehicle P equals new plane. And this has 5,000 horsepower and costs quite a lot of money. We defined in our vehicle the method ride. You can see you now ride the vehicle. This is because every method and every field is going to apply in this child class but we can also modify or override these methods if you want to override a method we can say new public void ride here we have have them the same method that we also have in vehicle but we said well this is a new one and here we can say print the car is now seated and we can also do the same in the plane the plane is now ready for takeoff so here's our game let's check it out we can see you now ride the vehicle the car is now seated and you now ride the vehicle that is because bmw is stored as a vehicle so it's treated like one just as much as the plane so in this case we'd have to say this what if we wanted to have something dynamic where it wouldn't matter whether the vehicle was a plane or a car, but it would still execute this method. This is important for game dev. Look here, we have our public override void ready. Every object in our game has this method and still they are all treated like here a node 2D. So uh, how would we achieve something like that? Let's go into our week or this we can say public virtual void right and now this can be overridden like this public override void right if the class does override right then it's gonna do what the class wants it to do but if not then this is gonna be executed let's check this out let's change our bmw to a vehicle and you'll see that in this case still bmw dot right is gonna execute the method car dot and of course at least after after we do this so let's check it out the car is now seated the car is now seated and plane is now ready for takeoff 
So, but our car also has completely different attributes than a plane. It could have a boolean that says electric. It could have a boolean that says whether it is electric or not. Now we have to say, all right, our BMW is electric and our Mercedes is not. And you can see the difference. Now we don't have to say this in our plane. But can we now access Mercedes? We can now say our Mercedes is. Now we can find out. I know you probably don't understand what this does, but we can now find out whether Boolean is true or false in this grammatically correct sentence. So our Mercedes is not electric. Right, what if we did the same with a BMW? BMW dot electric? Oh no, it doesn't know electric. It doesn't have the field. Why is that a car has electric? That is because it, BMW is a vehicle and not every vehicle has electric. Vehicle applies all vehicles. The only fields that are in all vehicles like horsepower or price can be accessed. Whether it's electric or not is exclusive to cars. We know we know that vehicle is also a car, but the program doesn't really know that. In this case, we are 100% sure that our BMW is a car. Then we can do a, let's say, a car BMW copy. And this is a car BMW. So what did we do here? We we created a new instance of beam of a car called a BMW copy and said it is equals to BMW, but it is by the way a car. This is called casting. Now we can access BMW copy dot electric. I know I know it was a lot to swallow, but I promise it's soon gonna get really great. In the next episode, we will learn what arrays are, and they are extremely useful. It's just a short episode, so don't worry. And after that, we will finally get to developing games.